We're here in water tunnel number three, 500 feet below the city's subway tunnels, with engineers and workers who are drilling through thick walls of bedrock to create passageways like this one that will transport safe drinking water from upstate reservoirs to faucets across the five boroughs. The day begins here, a construction site on Manhattan's far west side. But for the urban miners known as sand hogs, the workday takes place in a rock-walled world few people ever see. Most people certainly are not aware of the tunnels that are deep underneath New York City. I mean, we're putting in eight miles of tunnel underneath Manhattan, and virtually nobody knows we're here. An elevator takes the sand hogs hundreds of feet straight down. The elevator it goes down 586 feet to a platform where we get out and get down the stairway. Down here, the temperature is 55 degrees year-round. Water drips constantly, and the ground is covered with a layer of slippery muck. This cavernous room is the work hub for the Manhattan section, stage two in a four-part improvement plan set to cost the city about $6 billion. Each day, the Sandhogs hop this train and travel nearly two miles through a 12-foot tunnel to the rock face. The dead end, where a massive drill called the tunnel boring machine digs forward about 93 feet every 24 hours. We're at the back of the tunnel boring machine, and the tunnel boring machine has conveyor belt that brings the muck right to this point, and at this point it dumps into the muck cars. Right now we're inside the, this is the main beam of the, the mole, and right now, as you see him cutting that, we're actually repairing the conveyor belt, and when the muck lands on the belt it stays on and doesn't dump outside. Water is set to flow through the Manhattan section in 2012. After that, the Sandhogs and the Mole move on to stage three, connecting Kensico Reservoir to the Bronx. 